What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. Today we are doing a hobby box of 21-22 Bowman University. Uh, this came out, I think, a few weeks ago. I picked this one up for my LCS for uh, 120. I think that's about the going rate. You could probably get it a little bit cheaper on eBay or if you're trying to you know, find some deals, but at around 120 is about what I'm seeing this for. Um, this is featuring tomorrow's stars. So Bowman University is gonna include uh, collegiate players. I know guys like Chet Holmgren are in here, Shaden Sharp, guys who are gonna be in the draft coming up pretty soon, as well as like Mikey Williams, high school players, things like that, international guys. Um, but since it, uh, it is still unlicensed though, Tops still does not have a license um, for college or NBA or the international players or anything like that. Um, but I still thought it'd be a nice, cheap, fun product to open. We're gonna get two Chrome autographs per box. Um, I think they are sticker autos though, which is kind of a bummer. Um, in the background, you'll see uh, that Grant Hill, which came out of the Topps Finest basketball box, which was another unlicensed product, but at least all those uh, autographs were on card. Same with the Topps Chrome Overtime Elite. Those all had on card autographs as well. So <clears throat> these being stickers brings it down a little bit, but there's still a lot of cool stuff we can pull out of here. So we're gonna go ahead and open it and see how we do. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that bell for notifications so you get notified whenever we post new stuff. <clears throat> Got a lot of cool stuff coming this week. So stay tuned for more videos after this one. Uh, the back of the box doesn't really show much. Um, the odds are like on the cards themselves. Um, there are four cards per pack, 24 packs per box. So we got a lot of packs to open. Um, I know they also put out a Bowman University football product uh, before this one. Um, so this should be pretty similar to that one and should look like a lot, uh, look a lot of like the Bowman uh, baseball, uh, baseball products. So let's take a look. Yeah, so it might be kind of, kind of difficult to see all these odds. There's a lot of different stuff we can pull out of here. Um, so if anybody wants to I'll try and get rid of the glare, if anybody wants to pause that and look at everything we can pull, here is everything that you can get, but you know, we're not going to waste time going through all that. We're just going to go ahead and go for it. I know there are some, uh, rare inserts like case hit inserts and things like that. I think a big kahuna was, was one of them. Man, these cards feel thin. These are, when there's, there's no Chrome card, these are very thin cards. So here's what... Um, the base looks like so we've got our first bowman up here so pretty similar to like a the bowman baseball products kennedy chandler uzmane dieng i'm probably not going to know who a lot of these guys are josiah jordan james and kofi cockburn so all first bowman cards again don't really i don't know how much that's gonna really hold value in terms of being an unlicensed product but again cheap product thought it'd be fun to open try it out see what we can get out of here like I said before, I think Chet Holmgren is probably one of the better guys we can pull as far as autos and things like that. Marcus Bagley. There's a insert heat check of Johnny Giusano. There you go. Shaden Sharp. This is one of the guys I mentioned. He's, uh, I think, probably projected or somewhere in the top five in the draft. Uh, I think some guys have him higher, some guys have him lower. Um, but that would be a nice auto to pull for sure. Jimmy Beheim, Like the basketball coach? <laughs> Is this is this Jim, Jim Beheim, the basketball coach's uh, son? Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. Power forward, Jimmy Beheim. Well, Shaden Sharp, I guess we'll kind of put him. That's one of the better players, so we'll put him in the hit stack for now. Um, and again, this one seems like, oh, okay, we got our first, I think, chrome. Ooh, we got a refractor in here. So let's see, and we only got three cards in the pack with the refractor. Isaiah Mobley, let's look at the back. Pete Nance, I guess he's all safe first, Bowman. And our refractor is gonna be Remy Martin. This is an interesting looking card. I don't know what this is. I might have to do some more research and figure out, I mean, there's, I don't know what that I is supposed to stand for. If you guys know what this is, let me know in the comments. Although I'll do some research after I record the video. So I'll find out if this is actually anything special or not, or just kind of insert B-I Bowman I. I don't know what the I stands for. Well, we'll hopefully figure that out later. <laughs> Definitely a new product for me. 
Since I don't rip any baseball, I'm not super familiar with most Bowman products. I think we have another insert in here and it looks just like the last one and we only got three cards in this pack again as well. Will McClendon, Patrick Baldwin Jr. and I, it's like the same card. Jaden Shackelford. Okay, so probably not rare if we got them uh, in back-to-back -back packs. They're not numbered or anything. Um, but I'll throw those over uh, in the head stack for now just so we can kind of recap all these at the end. More paper cards in here. Will McClendon, Wendell Moore Jr., Eli Brooks, and Och Ochai Ag Agbaji. No clue if I pronounced that correctly or not. The only thing though is that this product is still missing a lot of the other, there's Mikey Williams. So again, base cards I don't think go for a ton. So hopefully we could pull an auto of his would be awesome. AJ Griffin, Kadari Richmond and Max Christie. Um, yeah, there are some, <clears throat> some of the top picks though or projected top picks uh, other than Chet Holmgren. Uh, for the draft coming up in uh, later this month are, or is it June or July? I can't remember. I think it's June. Um, some of those other top guys are not in here. There's Buddy Bayheim. <laughs> Let's see if those guys are related to. Oh, it's weird. Some say first Bowman and some don't. So maybe that's, that's odd that some of these guys don't have first, that first Bowman designation on the top of the card. Can't imagine there was another Bowman product before this one that they were in. I don't think Tops has been making these in the past. So oh, we got a purple. All right, finally, hopefully a numbered card in here. Looks interesting. Let's go from the back. We got Trey Alexander, Drew Timmy, Johnny Juzang, and let's see what this purple is. That is gonna be David McCormack. Is, is the purple gonna be numbered? There we go. 81 of 299. Okay, so we did get a numbered card. Don't know who David McCormick is. Not sure if he's, uh, okay. McDonald's All-American in high school, that's pretty good. I'll have to do a little bit more research, see if he's gonna be, uh, if he's projected to be anywhere in the, near the top of the draft. Oops, that's that last corner, there we go. Still no autos. Jabari, yeah, so like Jabari Smith, um, who's uh, projected to be one of the top picks is not in this. Neither is uh, Paolo Banchero. It's another guy is projected to be near the top of the draft. He does not have any cards in here. So kind of a bummer that they didn't get some of the top guys. Man, a lot of just paper cards. We're not getting much chrome, not getting much refractors, not getting much color. Still no autos. And I feel like we've gone through like half the box at this point. So hopefully all the good stuff is still to come. All right, something shiny in here. Zach Clemente. Clements, not sure. There's another Mikey. Okay, so Mikey Williams, here's the one that says first Bowman. So they must have, uh, some players probably have multiple cards. There you go, number one card in the set. So that's probably Ryan Mutumbo. I wonder if he's uh, related to Dikembe, and we got another shiny card here. This is gonna be Johnny Davis. Again, just a base refractor, so I'm assuming these are probably not numbered. Nope, Johnny Davis refractor. Yeah, these packs are, feel super thin with only four cards and most of the cards are paper. Got another refractor in here, KJ Adams. And there's another Johnny Davis. And this refractor is going to be Johnny Juzang. Even the refractors feel, they feel kind of papery. Like I, I know it's got to be a chrome card, but it feels kind of like a thin sort of papery refractor. There's not a whole lot of uh, weight behind these cards. Like if you compare these to like a Topps Chrome or a Prism or something like that, they feel a little bit lighter and thinner, uh, even on the refractors. Got another one of these inserts in here. Another heat check. It's gonna be Hunter Salas. We got Trace Jackson Davis and Pete Nance. Another Nance. I wonder if he's uh, related to Larry Sr. and Larry Jr. 
seems to be a lot of guys in the league that have like famous parents or guys. Okay, here we got a shimmer refractor. So I don't think the shimmers are numbered, and I think there's one or two per box. Tyler Beard, and on our shimmer we got Jared McCain. Nice looking card. Again, the shimmers are not numbered. Let's put the non-numbered shimmers and refractors in our middle stack there. We'll put the other refractors numbered stuff. So still only one numbered card, no autos. Oh, all right. Hopefully we, we got a good auto coming up soon. All right, got another refractor here. Maybe this, uh, maybe it's an auto. Yannick Nzosa. Patrick Baldwin Jr. And that's going to be it was Jimmy Bayheim again. <laughs> it's a refractor. All right, we only got uh, maybe 10 or so packs left, maybe less than that. Still no autos. Leaky Black. Leaky Black. That's a strange name. <laughs> Justin Moore. Victor Mirasan. So again, I keep seeing guys with the same name. Is this, is this Victor related to George Mirasan? It's funny, they don't really, oh yeah, they go Father George. Wow, George Mirasan's son, that's kind of cool. How tall is this guy? He's, ah, he's only 6'10". His dad was, what, 7'7"? Seven, seven? Still no auto. All right, maybe we this refractor is an autograph. R.J. Davis, Jared, was that Jared Roden? Tyrese Martin, God, looks like he can get up. All right, is this gonna be an auto? No, oh, well, at least it's a Chet Holmgren though, okay. But it's not his first Bowman, so he must have a couple cards in this set um, as well. All right, potential number one draft pick right there, Chet Holmgren. Would love to see a Chet auto or a, one of those rare, I think it's Big Kahuna, I think is the rare insert that's in these. Hunter Dickinson, there's another one of these heat check in inserts. So that's Mikey Williams, pretty cool. But again, these doesn't seem like those heat check inserts are very rare. Mason Miller, Brandon Huntley Hatfield. All right, we're getting down to the end of the wire here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, oh, only six packs left, and we've hit zero autos. So there should be two autos in these last six packs. They stuffed them all down to the bottom of the box here. I got another shiny card. Ron Harper Jr., another guy with a famous father, Jalen Wilson. And this shiny card is going to be, there's our first auto, Walker Kessler. Refractor, sticker auto, probably not going to be numbered. Chrome Prospect autograph card of Walker Kessler. So 7-1. Not sure. Don't know a ton about him. Again, I, I'm, I'm not super up to speed on a lot of the prospects going into the draft. I really only know sort of the top top guys so far. Typically, I, I find out a lot more once they start Start playing playing in the league, and I can follow a little more closely. I don't really follow a ton of prospect stuff before they're actually in the league. But one auto down. All right, we got a green card here. So this one definitely should be numbered as well. I'm not gonna try and some of these names. <laughs> and this one is there's an, there's auto number two. Uzman Dieng. This has got a nice looking auto. And this is green. Is this one gonna be numbered? There you go. It's 15 of 99 from Paris, France. Again, don't really know a whole lot about this guy. I'll have to do some more research on these two autos. So they're finally hit those two autos. So we got four packs left. So now at this point, we're looking for maybe some more numbered cards or a rare insert. And let's kind of fly through these last four and see, see what we can find. Then we'll do the quick recap. Isaiah Mobley. Oh, this is a, these are pretty cool cards. I like these. Uh, kind of throwback to the uh, 2003 Bowman design from LeBron's rookie year. That's, those are pretty cool looking. All right. Three more packs. Can we get at least one more? I'm surprised we only got 
two numbered cards. We got one numbered card and then the, one of the autographs was numbered and that's pretty much it. Here's another one of these 2003 throwbacks, Trevor Keels, Theo John and Nate Johnson. All right, last two packs. Come on, let's get one more numbered card. Uh, they, they're pretty stingy with the numbered cards. You would think kind of a hobby box like this, they would throw more numbered cards in there. And now we're getting all these, all these 2003s are now showing up all at the end. Keegan Murray, AJ Griffin, Hunter Salas, and last pack. Come on, let's get something good in here. Another one of these 2000. Three throwbacks. It's gonna be got a lot of Remy, a couple of Remy Martin cards in this box. Caleb Love and there's another Chet. So we didn't even get the base uh, Chet with the first bone. We got that other one. All right, that's gonna do it for this break. Let's do a quick recap um, of everything we pulled. Again, um, not sure who a lot of these guys are yet. So wow, we all all four of these 2003 flashbacks all came kind of right at the end. Got a couple Mikey Williams cards, got this heat check, got a Chet Refractor, some Mikey Williams first Bowman. This was one of the only two numbered cards we got in the box. This one was numbered to 299. Another Mikey Williams, we got a couple of these kind of back-to-back -back packs, but they were the only two in the box. And Shade and Sharp first Bowman. And our two autos are two guys I don't know. Um, this one was just a base refractor auto. They're both sticker autos, Walker Kessler. And then this one was a green and it was numbered to 99. Um, so hopefully one of these guys <laughs> is, is a good draft pick. Otherwise, that probably was kind of a dud of a box, but still fun to open. Not, and it was not a huge cost um, to get this and rip it open. But hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the next video.